If you people would be good enough, please take a dollar bill out because we're going to be going through this. Please follow me, follow along. You will notice on your dollar bill, this seal will appear on the left hand side. Okay, you will notice at the very top of the pyramid a 13 letter expression and directly beneath it another one. This is, in Latin it says, annuit corruptus novus ordo seclorum, which means announcing the birth of a new world order. This new world order, now if you look at the bottom of the pyramid in Roman numerals, it says MDCCLXXVI. This is um, 1776, but we are not talking about July 4th. We are talking about May 1st, 1776, the very day in which the Illuminati was officiated. I will be able to show this part of it to you afterwards as far as the proof that this is indeed May 1st. You will notice the pyramid itself is made up of 13 levels. Now, how many, now I'm sure many of us have heard of numerology before. This is where you take numbers and assign them to letters, correct? You will notice there's another system in the occult that's known as gematria. Again, there are 13 levels to it. 13 in gematria is the number for depravity and rebellion. In short, what this entire seal is saying is that on May 1st, 1776, a new world order had come about. It would be based on depravity and rebellion and headed by Lucifer. Now, if you will take a look to the right-hand side of your dollar bill, you will notice the all-familiar eagle, correct? You will notice that there are 13 stars, a 13-letter banner, um, the eagles holding the banner, the breastplate, the arrows, tail feathers, and the olive branch. Now, I'm going to switch to a black and white one because the breastplate especially breaks up into a certain um, pattern that you need to take a good look at. Starting at the very top, you will notice the cluster of 13 stars. Surrounding those 13 stars are 28 guidelines. 28 in Gematria stands for eternity, or that which is eternal. Directly beneath those 13 stars, you will notice the eagle is holding a 13-letter banner. The banner in Latin says E Pluribus Unum. Translated, E Pluribus Unum means one out of many. But the question is, one out of many what? When Dr. Adam Weishaupt was formulating the Illuminati, he was infiltrating the Masons, the Jesuits, the Rosicrucians, and other occult schools of his day and age. What he was doing was taking the best and the brightest minds out of these organizations and bringing them into his own. What he was doing was forming one group out of many group. This is what that is talking to. You will notice the eagle is looking to the right. Whenever the bird, symbolically speaking, looks to the right, it's looking on in favor of whatever it's looking towards. Compare, compare this to the Nazi war bird of World War II where it was looking to the left, away in opposition. In other words, it was not looking on in favor. This particular um, eagle is not what we call a perfect one because the wings have 32 feathers and one has 33. This is because they represent the two factors of masonry. One um, factor, the York Rite has 32 degrees, the thir and the um, Scottish Rite has 33 degrees. We're going to get into the Masons and how they've been fooled. And literally, 95% of all Masons do not realize that they've been victimized. You will notice a very unusual breastplate upon the eagle. There are 12 horizontal lines and 18 vertical lines. 12 in Gematria is the number for governmental perfection. 18 is the number for bondage. But, it was, but what is more interesting is that these 18 lines are broken down into six sections, making the white field into seven. Six is the number for man. Seven is the number for God. What they are literally doing is putting man above God. 
you will notice the eagle has eight talons or claws in that they are clenched. Eight is the number for new beginnings. But once again, they are clenched. Symbolically speaking, something's being taken away. If something was being given, they would be open. The olive branch on the left-hand side has 13 leaves and 13 berries. Over here, we have 13 arrows. The olive branch itself represents peace, and the berries represents the fruit of that peace. The arrows represent our military might and our ability to defend ourselves. But notice how they're being taken away. Tail feathers have always been used for guidance and stability. We all know this. This particular symbol is known as a hexagram. It has six points to it, and it has a circle around with it. In order for anyone in their cult to summon up a demon, and I mean a literal demon, to this plane of existence, they must use that symbol. That has to be used. Now this is not to be confused with this symbol up here. That is commonly referred to as the Seal of Solomon, the Mogan David, or the Seal of David. You will notice it is two equilateral triangles that are interwoven. This shows the union of man with God. This particular symbol, the hexagram, takes an um, equilateral triangle and puts it on top of another. This is placing man above God. The response is that it represents the 13 colonies. Well, why so many 13s? That's a little bit redundant. We have 13 signs, we have banners and letters that make up 13, 13 leaves on the berries, 13 arrows. Why so many 13s? If we play connect the dots, the hexagram once again is shown. 13 stars and you follow the outline now of the star itself, straight down to the 13 arrows, to the 13 olive branch and they connect straight through and across the stars through the 13 um, lettered banner. Six and seven here makes 13. Notice, this, notice a point right down here where you're supposed to connect it. And if you notice the seal already comes with a circle. Now if my premise is correct, there has to be a third six somewhere. And if you look towards the other seal, you will find the other hexagram. Once again, all we have to do is just connect the 13s, so the 13 steps, the 13 letter banner, which if you notice goes directly underneath the capstone and connects down here.